Hallelujah. Did you see that? He says you must do what the Lord has commanded. Then the glory of the Lord will appear up to you. Yeah. You must do what you are commanded. It means that the appearance of God's glory is tied to that which you were commanded to do. The Lord asked me to share on this first day my own ministration. Winning strategies for 2024. Number one, be at the center of God's will. The safest place to be in the universe is not in America. It's at the center of God's will. Did you hear what I said now? The safest place to be in the universe is being at the center of God's will. In 2024, if you must win, you must do everything to find and embrace God's will for your life. Being at the center of God's will is your only guarantee to secure God on any adventure. In 2024, if you want to experience breathe, you want to see ease, be in step with God. Don't go before God. Don't go behind God. Walk with God. God's will is what he wants you to do. God's purpose is why he wants you to do that which he wants you to do. And God's way is how he wants you to do what he wants you to do. Did you understand that equation at all? I said number one, you must be at the center of God's will. As a minister this year, if you operate out of God's will, you can't experience bliss. Bliss is only found where God is found. In trying to any business this year without consulting God's will, you can't experience bliss in that business. You start any project with consulting God's will. Forget about bricks. Read my Bible. There's a man who decided to operate out of God's will. His name is Jonah. If you operate out of God's will in 2024, you can't see God take care of your transport fare. If you decide to go to Texas instead of Nineveh, you will pay your transport fare. Even after pay, you are not sure you will arrive safe. In 2024, do everything within your power. If we don't God's will. Tell your neighbor, do everything within your power. If we do it. When you are within God's will, fear is not one of those things you experience. There are places we have gone to for missions, for outreaches, for, and before we went there, people actually called us to say, don't try it. You're about to die if you do. When we were in God's will, we have had God. I remember 2018 when the war was so tight in the southwest. Ekuna was bloody. I had it. But many people called me and said, don't try. We saw that you went there and never came. I have had God's will for that season. And God showed me that I went there and brought souls. Came back more stronger than I went. So I carried my people. I said, we're going. The night we had to leave, they were waiting for me to do online vigil so that we can counterbalance everything. And I say we are sleeping. God will, even when there is a in the boat, you can rest. The Bible says Jesus was in the boat and a storm arose. So even with Jesus in the boat, a storm can still hit the boat. The man is sleeping with his legs. Everybody is shouting, everybody is jumping. But Jesus is resting. Why? Because he knows he is at the center of God's will. You cannot become a casualty in testing if you remain at the center of God's will. You hear me today? No matter what comes, if you know that you are at the center of God's will, obey. Tell somebody, obey. This is the year of bliss, and you will experience it as you stay within the confines of God's will. No devil can stop the rest that is to you as you obey from the standpoint of God's will. Yes, one day we went somewhere for a crusade, and the person who received us at the park, he came and told me, ah, this place is very wild, though. Look at that guy, he came here one time for missions, he's now mad. Look at the other one, he started a church here, they have made him, he's a flavor. <laughs> you know, a flavor. <laughs> I said, man of God, how can you welcome me with this kind of story? Trying to chase me away from here, what is going on? They told my people, they said this land is strong. But did we hear God before coming? They said, yes. So can we do this? They said, we can do this. For four days, we were in that land. Even a bad dream never showed. I said, even a bad dream. Why? Because you are at the center of God's way. Some of you, you are carrying your money. You do not consult God. You just look for one investment. That's how all your investments. One of the worst things that can happen to you is to have the Holy Ghost and yet walk without discernment. You can't smell God's you can't, you can't, from the distance, the Bible says, as the deer pants after the water brooks, the deer can stand here and smell water at the moment park. You have Holy Ghost. You can't smell God's way. Number two, don't be afraid to start small this year. You want to win this year. Remember, we are talking about winning strategies for 2024. If you want to win, do not be afraid to take necessary baby steps. Don't be afraid to start small. I told people we go global by going local. Huh? You hear what I said? We go global by going local. Are you hearing me? We start from somewhere. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria. It's a formula that doesn't only work the gospel, even business. You don't start business by owning enterprises like Dangote. You saw a businessman, you just started by owning refineries, only No, sir. Everything starts from somewhere. We start by start. Are you hearing me at all? This year, if you want to win, take the necessary baby steps. As a minister, take the necessary baby steps. Don't be afraid to start small. Jesus said, if you want to build, the first thing you will do is to sit down and count. He didn't say the first thing you do is to gather all the money and put together. He said, make sure you put everything together. All the rocks will be there. Eh? They zig everything before you start. Mm -mm. Count the cost. If you want to win in 2024, do not be afraid to start small. Because if you are too big to start small, you will be too small to end big. If you are too big to start small, you will be too small to end big. Too many of us are too 
big to start anything small. A business that if you started five years by now, you would have been making millions. You say, no, I can't, I can't start a business with just 10,000. You know how many people started a business with 5,000? And today they are cashing out. A course you would have taken scenes and gotten that certificate. You say, no, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if, in fact, my brain is not yet ready to, 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 to master anything now. My brain is not yet ready. Spirit of procrastination, Holy Ghost! You are getting old. Time is passing. You are giving yourself excuses upon excuses. Do not be afraid to start small. I want to hear Papa tell me by 2024, 2024 crossing over, that after we left, some people started small and now they are. The Bible says, despise not the deeds of thy little beginnings. For though thy beginning may be small, thy latter end shall be in peace. When I had God said to me that there is a writing grace on me, I was in form three. And from four I started writing. Don't ask me what I was writing. All I know is that I God. And I started writing. I was not afraid to start small. The first book I published in form four. I needed a capital of 15,000 francs. Publish that book. You can imagine that kind of book. <laughs> eh? You do launching ceremony, you print copies, everything all together is 15,000. Eh? But that is where it starts. Tell somebody that is where it starts. Start by starting. I've told people greatness never looks like it from the beginning. And I think it is God's wisdom. God has a wisdom in using time to hide greatness. Time hides greatness. That's why you must treat everybody well. Because time is a revealer. There are people who are not in now as we are talking here. They are visiting here. You are like, look at this useless boy. Two years from now, you may be shocked. Time hides goodness. You must decide to start from somewhere. Start from somewhere. Everybody you admire started from somewhere. In opposite, I did another book. That one is powerful. Amen. I know you know that one. At least it's different from the first one. <laughs> Very different. And I think for my publication, that is the best. While I was fighting with my advanced level, I was fighting with that one. And I did a great job there. Many years later, 2020, COVID, while I was in the medical school, I was battling with two other books. And this time around, I did not need 15,000. I needed one point something million as a student to do it. Yeah. And the testimony is that God helped me to do it. I don't know how, but I started by publishing a book using 15. Start by starting. There are companies that are lying dormant in many people here. Business is giant enterprises. You are too scared. You can't take. I've told people it's better to take baby steps than not take a step. Don't wait for your feet to become adult. You know, I want to take adult steps. Start by taking baby. You see one of you, your child started walking when he was two or three, and then you were angry that they are just walking and falling. You were angry. There's no mother that will be angry. In fact, the first day your child stood and tried to, even when they fell, you were happy. At least they are showing that they are willing to. But that is what life is about. It's better to take steps and fall and learn and continue taking steps than to be nothing and end up as nothing. I told people it's better to die for something than live for nothing. Dare to step out if you want to win in 2024. Your greatness cannot come forth if you remain in your comfort zone. Peter showed us that it is only by daring that we can do the supernatural. Jesus, is that you? If it is you, tell me to come. And Jesus said, It is me, my son, come. And Peter started walking on water. Number three, if you want to win this year, stop living in the shadows of others. Stop living in the shadows of others. Many people are where they are in life today because they have never been themselves. All your life you have tried to be somebody else. You will fail woefully again and again in 2024 if you remain a copycat. Because imitation is one of your greatest limitations. Being somebody else is a waste of who you are already. Listen, when they are writing names of people that did something important in life, your name can never feature because what you were all your life struggling to do is what another person was doing naturally. So that which you were supposed to do naturally, lie on you. Why you struggled your whole life to do what another person was naturally wired to do. This is where many of us have failed in life. Stop living in the shadows of others. Minister, you want to stand up behind the lane God has called you and stay there. I have been around for a while by the grace of God. It's about 16 years of following Jesus since 2008. And I've seen people change from one generation of preacher surfacing to another. 2008, as a minister, Pastor Chris is the one that modeled him. You were now Jericoin, the head doing everything he was doing and carrying iPad. When that his time passed, another new man arrived. You now say, No, I've changed my pattern in ministry. Now we shall fire. We don't do gentle this thing again. Now I pass again. You say, Oh, these people have come with potters and rims. I like with rims and potters. You now enter rims and potters. Clearly, you are not called. Don't even know what God wants you to do. That's why you keep switching from A to Z. Every reigning apostle on the globe is your next model. That's why you can't be anything. Every night you sit in front of tapes. What they are doing, they are like this, you do. What they are doing, like this, you do. How do you think God can give you anything? It's a delusion. God knows that you're a joker. In ministry, you can't amount to anything with this, you are flip flop. Huh? Even if you're an investor and you meet somebody who is so unstable, are you going to give him heavy investments? This year, may God help you to be honest now. This is how to win. I have won on many fronts by being me. I don't have time to tell you the testimonies. I have won on many fronts by choosing to be me. Yeah. Fighting so hard to keep to my path. This is what God asked me to do. This is how he asked me to do it. Stay with it. May God help you to be original this year. 
Stop living a fake life. Being you is beautiful. Tell somebody, being you is beautiful. Being you is beautiful, I'm telling you. Just to be you because you are unique. You are. There's no fingerprint on earth that looks like yours. Why are you wasting your whole life trying to be somebody else when God is waiting for you to be you? Can I tell you something tonight? You are the one your world has been waiting for. You are a young lady. Every day you are in front of the mirror. You want to make sure you change into somebody else. This is why you are invisible on the radar of people can't see you. A lot of people are trying to, 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 to turn into something else because of the pressure from social media and pressure from learn to be you and enjoy being you. This is how to win this year. Many of you have spent unnecessarily because you are not you. I'm telling you how some people have wasted their money. You took your money, you want to make sure you are somebody else. Meanwhile, if you are just being you, you will be very economical. Now all your money is going to make sure you are not you. You are the one this nation has been waiting for. You are the one your family has been waiting for. You are the one that office has been waiting for. You are the one that quarter has been waiting for. Amen. You are the one that Menda has been waiting for. Amen. You are the one. You are the one. When I came to Jesus, I noticed naturally that I'm the one that came to change the history of my family. I didn't need to attend any. I just knew it. I'm the one. That's somebody. I'm the one. You remember that time Jesus was interrupted by the disciples of John. Are you the one who should be waiting for another? The man said, "Can't you see the signs?" Tell somebody, "Can't you see the signs?" I'm the one. I'm the one. See the signs. I'm the one. This color is a sign. I'm the one. This height is a sign. I'm the one. Oh my God! You are the one. Young man, you are the one. Young woman, you are the one. I'm the one. I will be me. I'll be In 2024, I'm not struggling to be anybody else. Yes. Oh, I know why God made me to be like this. Yes. I'm excited that I came from Com yes. precisely I knew I was zone. I don't regret it. Yes. Oh, I love the fact that I went to GBHS from now. Yes. It was not a mistake. Yes. I'm excited that I was born a Baptist boy. Oh, yes. And then I grew up to be a non-denominational boy. Oh, yes. I am not regretting it. Yes. Oh my God. I am the one. I am the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. Yes. Hey. Somebody came and asked me, why did you choose to do that special job? medicine you choose i said i did not choose it god choose it yes. because nothing about me was chosen by me yes. my mother i did not choose her oh, yes. uh, and i feel like i'm talking now that's right i didn't choose this size yes. this color yes. so god knew that the one that will enter my shoes must be like me yes. so he made me me oh, yes. there is a me in me that makes me the me i am yes. there is a you in you that makes you the you you are yes. you are the one for the endless expectation of the creation, we can wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to turn these three things you have said into prayers now. Are you sure you are with me now? We are starting with the last thing. I am the one. I am the one. My family has been in bed for too long. Who is better? I am the one. Oh my God, poverty has messed up everybody in my family. Who will end this nonsense? I am the one. Hey, I am the one. Hey, I am the one. Happy and mad and loud it. Open your mouth. 
I said to you, Mr. You must not be afraid to start small. Yes. Baba, a lamba, bigger. I've been delayed. Still waiting. 2020 came. 2022. This is 2024. I'm not procrastinating no more. Amen. I'm taking major steps. Amen. <laughs> I'm taking major steps this year. I do not give room for procrastination. <laughs> that which I must do, I must do. Yes. Beyond five men of the words that you are ready to put on these things into. Are you hearing me at all? Turn the things you have heard into spiritual energy. Yes. Yeah, I bet again. Caesar, in 2024, I will not procrastinate. I am taking that step that I need to take. Yes. To break into financial freedom. Yes. I'm taking that step that I need to take. Oh, yes. For my God, for my ministry to take shape. Oh, yes. I'm taking that step that I need to take. Oh, yes. For my family to change level. Yes. In 2024. Oh, yes. ourselves at the center of his will yes because that is where we will get unlimited possibilities oh, yes that is where all our safety is assured yeah. right. i've told you if you don't find god's will you will pay a transport to destiny yes error and you will not still be sure to arrive safely yes. error but if you decide to find god's will and to uh. stay in god's will even the fish can carry you to your destiny. Amen. Lord, you will help me to find that which is your will for my life in 2024. Help yes. me, Lord. Listen to what I said. I said God's will is what God wants you to do this year. Yes. yes. God's purpose is why he wants you to do that thing this year. Oh, yes. And God's way is how he wants you to do it. Amen. Yeah. 2024, my father, my help father. me to find your will for my life. 2024, my father, will be doing life. what you want me to do. I will be doing what you want me to do. Do it how you want me to do it. How you want me to do it? Oh my In 2024, I will do what you want me to do. I will do what you want me to do. I will do it the way you want me to do it. I will do it the way you want me to do it. Open your mouth, say that till it becomes power. Say that till it becomes power. I will say that till it becomes power. To find your will, I have me to do it the way you want me to do it. In 2024, may I not do my own will. May I not do the will of man. May I not do the will of my parents. May I not do the will of my church. That is your service. That is your service. 
Help me to fire your whip. Help me to fire your whip. Help me to fire your whip. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Is there any million here? Sit down. We're about to go to the next three points. And we're wrapping up. Is there anybody like Lilian? Here. Kabala Shavra. Hey. Thank <laughs> you.